Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Today we are in Avondale, Arizona, just outside Phoenix, and we are at Blue Compass RV, formerly known as Tom's Camperland. We're going to look at something really unique. We've never seen anything like this. This is uh, an Explore RV. It's the X195. This thing is built like a tank. This is made for the true, we're going out in the bush, off-grid people. So let's go take a look. All right, we're going to start up here in the front. You have two 20-pound protein tanks that are on a slide system, so you can easily get to them, okay? Um, this is sort of, uh, it, it's an all-steel container storage area with extra gridding. There's steps to get up here. You can store things, all kinds of amazing things. But one of the cool things, look up top there, Lisa, you have these big LED floodlights that face forward, okay? Also, the entire roof of this sucker is got solar panels. Let me show you. There we go. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight big ones and one, two, well, nine big ones and two small ones. You are ready to be off grid with this sucker. All right, as we come up to the front, here's some storage. It is locked. We can't show you. I apologize. Nice steel steps. As you come over here to the axles, <laughs> look at these tires, Lisa. That's the, crazy. Not are these just crazy, but these are on independent suspension as well as airbags. Nice. Okay. <laughs> this is going to travel well through the bush. Up top, you do have an awning. Okay. As we move around to the back, there's some more of the steel utility cabinets, places for you to again hang stuff. There's power out here. But what, what amazes me, look down. There are steel shackles welded onto the frame. So in case you do get yourself stuck, at least the RV stuck, you can use your vehicle to pull it back out, <laughs> right? Big spare tire, full size here in the back. There's handles. I'm not exactly sure what these are for. Oh, this, this is your stabilization system is what this is. You pull this out or twist this and it goes down. Here is your water base system, okay? Um, uh, you plug in water here. Um, as well as here, and you've got a shower. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Again, it's behind a watertight compartment. Again, more storage. Uh, it's locked, I apologize. And here is your 30 amp connection. All right, so let's take a look at those numbers, Lisa. All right, this has a gross vehicle weight of 9,920 pounds. That is unbelievable. However, you can carry 4,380 pounds. Is that unbelievable? That's crazy. Right? That is crazy. Yeah, see if you can show the suspension down there too while you're down here. Let, look at that crazy suspension down there. Um, yeah, that's a, a hot water tank. Wow. As well, yep. Yeah. Very nice. So when we come up here to the front, here's the other side of uh, that storage area, right? The, the one side had uh, the protein banks, and then here's some more storage. Right, just like I said, this th sucker is built like a tank. There's no, uh, uh, it's a manual crank system, guys. Okay, manual crank system. Um, it's not electric. All right, so uh, let's go check out the inside of this tank. As we go in, I like the door, Lisa. Look at this. You got some compartment here. It, I, I, it almost reminds me of like an airplane sort oh, of yeah. door, right? I get that, yeah. All right, so we'll come on up. You have some magazines or maps in those pockets. Now look at this. This is like a sort of European modern design. Just because we're going out into the woods hunting or doing whatever you're gonna do out there doesn't mean you can't be in style. This, you are traveling in style. Okay? Uh, yeah, I don't get the, the woodsy outdoor feeling from inside. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. So let's look forward here. Here is your master. So let's get a measurement on the bed first. So this is 54, and of course the pillows are in the way. I think it's a full, Lisa. I believe it is as well. 54 by 75. So that is a residential full-size mattress. Very nice. Okay, and then there, as you see, there's cabinets flanking. So you have, ah, there it is. There you go. And they're on pistons. Yep. Look at that. I love that. That is so neat. Yes. And they're all like that. They all have these locks. So if you're banging out, you know, in the woods, trying to get somewhere, the cabinets aren't going to be banging. They're solidly latched. Yes, they are. Okay. And then there's these little cubbies up yep. here too. Absolutely. There's some storage down there as well. You've got 110 power over on this side, Very as nice. well as the other side. 
Very nice. The shades are kind of nice too. You have a day shade and a night shade. Oh, nice. Or uh, if you look over there in the kitchen, uh -huh. no shade. <laughs> 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 all right. So over here to my left, all right, is your dinette. Now look at this. It's like a C. It's not even a U, all right? But it, it becomes a bed, which is nice. Yeah. That table is... I don't want to call it a piston, but you just open those little claws and it pushes right down and that can become a bed. And so you have a nice dining area. Or it's a nice large sofa. Just, I just love this sort of European look. Yeah, very nice. And then the cool kitchen. Yes, look how, how stylish and chic this is. Right? You've got, you know, your, your stainless sink and you've got all of these compartments so you can do whatever washing and prep work that you need to do. Conserve the water. And conserve the water, yeah. exactly. Um, nice tall faucet as well. I love having the window here. Um, decent prep space. Yeah, yeah. And um, solid surface too. It is. Yeah. yeah. And you do have a two burner induction. Plus you have power here. Um, underneath, yeah. Um, overhead, let's, I was going to go under, but let's go over. Yeah, nice big um, cabinets, again with latches. Yes. So they're not going to, um, you're not going to lose all your food Stuff when you're bouncing out yes. in the bush. Again, guys, this is built like a tank. It is made to be off-road 100%. Yes. And then you have all these storage drawers and, and look at all of that space. I love it. Does this open? I that can't, one does not. Does not. Yeah, okay. these two do not, but okay. these do. So you've nice. got these nice big drawers. What about that tall one back here next to you? Oh, look at that. Nice. It's almost a drying rack. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a drying rack, but No, yeah. but you know what? That's great for your canned goods, your yeah. heavier type things. It's yeah. got the wire racks there, so they're not going to go bouncing this does all open, over Lisa. the place. Oh, it does. Oh, I apologize. Yeah. It was, this one does that not, That one does, does not, but yep. this one does. And then we have, is that the refrigerator? It is, look at this. I've never seen a refrigerator like this. No, the freezer's on wow. the bottom. And again, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is on 12 volt. It works off of the uh, the solar that's on the roof. Yes, that love that. That unbelievable amount of solar. I love that. That refrigerator is from, uh, I can't read it. I don't have my glasses on. Isotherm, there you go. Isotherm. Love right. it. So, oh, you know what time it is. It's time for Toilet test. If you are new to the channel, I am six foot four, so use my height as reference as we're walking around this RV. Now, this is not a porcelain and or plastic foot flush toilet. It is uh, not even a composting. It is a cartridge type toilet so that you're collecting uh, the waste and disposing it later. So it goes into a bag and then you dispose the bag later. From a height standpoint, I've got plenty of leg room. I'm, I'm a little bit tight left and right but i can just move my arm up here and it's fine so this would definitely get all right so next to here if i can figure out how to open it you have a cabinet here that's a lot of space right yeah that'll hold and then, a lot of towels. and then a cabinet up there right <laughs> right we've got three down here a, a nice vessel sink right right i mean who has a that. vessel sink in, in a bushcraft type tank RV? Yeah. It's crazy. Yes, I love it. All right, there's no medicine cabinet. The the mirror's, you know, just bolted to the wall here. And as you, I, I, I can't see past here. <laughs> so uh, it's a bit challenging. All right, speaking of challenging, all right, Lisa, back up just a second. So here's the entrance to the shower. Um, and so, as you can see, I'm going to have to just duck to get in the shower. The opening is also very tight. So, let me climb in. It looks like you have like a teak floor, Lisa. I like the teak floor. Which is kind of neat. Yeah. All right. So, from, from a standing standpoint, being six foot four, I cannot stand. Okay. So, this is definitely not good for the tall people. However, there's a built-in bench. And so I, if I was into this lifestyle of going off grid and hunting or whatever, and this is what I was going to need, I would be fine taking a shower here, okay? Um, but definitely not made for the tall people. So there you have it. We have never seen an RV like this, guys. Explore RV, the X195. 
independent suspension, off-road tires, airbags. No slides. No slides, full <laughs> solar, can carry a whopping 4,600 and some odd pounds of cargo. Yes. That is amazing. Yeah. Wow. Guys, do us a favor. If this is your first time finding our video, you know what to do, right? Thumbs up, subscribe, become part of the Tall Man Clan. We would sincerely appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. As far as the Tall Man Clan goes, God bless you guys. We really do love you. And we thank you so much for being with us through Thick and Thin. Until we see you on the road again, be safe.